join in singing together to shout to the Lord by um, taking our first song from Secret Songs and Solos hymn book, hymn number 1000, hymn number 1000. Shall we gather at the river where bright angel feet have trod? You are welcome to the house of the Lord this beautiful Sunday morning. May the Lord bless each and every one of you for coming Amen. to the house of the Lord. We know many things are going on in the world right now, but we thank God that we still have a shelter. Amen. Thank God that we still have a place to go to. Amen. Thank God that we still have a God in heaven. Amen. He answers prayers still. Yes. He will answer all your prayers today. Amen. For all our internet audience, may the Lord bless you. Wherever we are located, if you live locally and you like to join us physically, you are very welcome. You have only missed our lovely and enjoyable prelude. There's an ensign from the orchestra and shout to the Lord from the choir. You can join us in singing together and then the rest of the service. We are located on number 95 Fenham Road, SE 151 AE. Uh, meetings usually begin at um, the Sunday school at um, 9.30, devotional service at 11, just as we are doing now. You can join us and the Lord will bless you if you're able to do so. But if you are not able to do so, you can join us wherever you are. The Lord is everywhere, yeah. even right in your sitting room or in your little group where you are gathered in whichever country you are right now. We want to believe that that same Lord who is with us here is with you right there. Amen. And we bless you too. Amen. So we sing some songs together now, beginning with hymn number 1000, Shall We Gather at the River? Let's take verses 1, 2, and 5. Verses 1 
verses 2, verse 2, and verse 5. 1,000, after the introduction. Um, those who believe in their heart that they will be part of that gathering to sing with me the chorus of this song once more. And that is um, without the organ, without the orchestra. Because I believe you all also want to be part of that. Am I right? Yes. We all want to sing that chorus together. Sing it heartily if that hope is in you that you will be among those at last that we gather at the river with the saints that have gone on before. Give us the chord, please. be in Jesus name. Amen. 944.
still want to invite those that have the assurance in their hearts that they will dwell finally, ultimately, in that Beulah land. Let us sing again prayerfully the chorus. Oh, Beulah land, sweet Beulah land. That is our hope. That is where we are all heading to. And the Lord will give us all that we need to do, the grace to do, in order to make it. Oh, Beulah land. Again, it's going to be a cappella. Heaven is our future and final home. And may He give us the grace to get there. Hymn number two.
going to stand up and sing that chorus together. We are all going to stand up and the choir members, we get the chord again to be sure we get it right. Then we sing that palms of victory, crowns of glory, and we want to set our heart on that. For there is one ready for you in heaven. Amen. One ready for me in heaven. Amen. And by the special grace of God, we are not going to miss it. Amen. We will get there in Jesus' name. Amen. Shall we all stand up, please? We sing that at the end of which, at the end of which, Brother Mangere will come forward to give us congregational prayer. Then palms of victory. Heaven and Father, Amen. we glorify you. Yes. We worship you. Amen. We love you. Yes. Lord, we thank you for the wonderful day which you have given us. The day of the Lord. Yeah. We are gathered here, Lord, to seek you. We want to find you. Amen. We have that hope. We know this world is not our home. No, no. We are just passing through. Yes. We have wonderful eternity yeah. which we have prepared for us. Oh yes, praise God. The heavenly places. Mm -hmm. We long for that yeah, hope. Lord, give us assurance today. Amen. 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 Help us to have that assurance Amen. today. Help us to hope for that assurance, Lord. Amen. Lord, we are here for a short time. Mm -hmm. We are like vapor on this world. We are seen today, tomorrow we are no more. But Lord, you have prepared a place for us. Yes. A wonderful place where we shall sing the praises of glory. And worship you in yeah. unison. Yeah. We thank you, Lord. Come and bless this service. Amen. Bless your servant this morning. Amen. Speak to our hearts. Amen. Help us to be receptive to your word. Amen. Save souls. Amen. Sanctify. Amen. Baptize with the Holy Ghost and fire. Amen. Heal the sick. Amen. Revive our souls. Amen. In Amen. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, we continue with the service from the choir, giving us the first special God is our refuge from Empire Anthem, number 24. And then we have the Bible reading. And then the last special, which is a solo, his strength is perfect before the word of exhortation.
this morning is taken from the book of First Peter. This is Paul to Peter, chapter 1. We'll read from verse 1 to 5. First Peter chapter 1, verse 1. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontius Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit, unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ, grace unto you, and peace be multiplied. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from death. For to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you, Last verse, who are kept by the power of God through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time.
His strength is perfect. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let's um, read from <coughs> Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6. Hebrews 8, 6. But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry, mm -hmm. by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, mm -hmm. which was established upon better promises. Amen. Amen. Better days are coming. Amen. Amen. When we started singing, I could see some faces are still a bit down. I don't know why. There's a hope for us. Amen. And may God bring that um, hope to fruition. Amen. When the, like the traveler we sung about, kept on hoping. Mm -hmm. So deliverance will come. Yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Deliverance will come. Amen. Then he came to realize that fully. And then he was saying, Deliverance has come. Yes. May that be our Lord. Amen. As weary travelers on the way to heaven, mm -hmm. that um, one day our faith will turn to a sight. Amen. Amen. We'll see God and rejoice in glory with Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. I read a book just a little bit about a religious um, writer We call the book best selling. In that book, titled Your Best Life Now, it wants people to believe that all is going to be well now with us. He wrote something like this. God wants this to be the best time of your life. Again, it says, happy, successful, fulfilled individuals have learned how to live their best life now. Thirdly, it says, as you put the principles found in these pages to work today, you will begin living your best life now. How far from the truth is that? What is that say? Well, this is absolutely true for a non-Christian. If you have not been born again, you have not experienced salvation in your life, that could be your best life now. Yes, because the life to come, you won't be there to enjoy it, no. so you better enjoy it now. Because the next life, well, God forbid for any one of us here, Amen. for anybody who believes such words, spend their whole time here laboring and doing, he wants to enjoy life now, the next life will be in hell. Mm. And that's um, a terrible life that um, that person will live. That life will is infinitely going to be worse for that person. Really speaking, it's just going to be the only life for that person. Because in the world to come, that person will only exist in a perpetual state of suffering, dying 
or instead of dying with no hope at all, there is no hope in hell. True. But we thank God Amen. for what the blood of Jesus has done for us, Amen. opening the way mm. to eternal bliss. Yeah. That True. whoever accepts Him mm. as Lord and Savior will have to be ready to suffer here. But the end will justify the means. The end will be glorious. We cannot even comprehend what that best life will be to us because the Word of God says in First um, Corinthians chapter two verse nine yeah. that I have not seen no. nor ear heard, no. neither have entered into the heart of man. No the things that God has prepared for them that love him. So contrary to what philosophers, psychologists, all these big, big names, whatever they may bring forth, that we, by the grace of God, know that they are contrary to the word of God. We should not believe them. No. But we want to cast our hope. Our hope is in God. Yeah. The Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Remember what he says in, in the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 14. The first three verses. Yeah. Let not your heart be troubled. Amen. Amen. Believe in God. Amen. Believe in me. Yeah. In my father's house. Yes, there are many mansions. Right. I go to prepare a place for you. Mm -hmm. And if you go and prepare a place for you, I'll come again right. and take you unto myself. Yes. That where I am, yes, there ye may be also. Amen. Amen. How wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. It's gonna be yes. for you and me if we could still continue to hold on. Jesus has not promised that now you are going to have a full, happy, rich, satisfying, trouble-free life of health, wealth, and success. Hasn't promised us that. See, sometimes people say, oh, they're claiming things in the Bible. Thank God you can claim but we have to be sure what we are claiming. Because my Bible says, and I think yours says so, that we will have trouble. Yeah. We have persecution. Right. We have rejection. Right. We will have difficulties. Right. We will have trials. Mm -hmm. We have temptation. Mm -hmm. We will have pain. Mm -hmm. We have suffering. Mm -hmm. We have sorrow. We have sickness yes. and even physical death. But it is not all gloom and doom. No. Oh. Praise God. Better days are coming. Amen. 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 For us Christians, this is our worst life. Mm. Mm. But um, comparatively, it is in this world. Mm. But in the world to come, is the life is going to be the best one we can think of. Amen. Amen. Remember the songwriter says, on that resurrection morning, yes. when the dead in Christ shall rise, I will have a new body. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I have a new life. Amen. That is when we will realize that best life we're talking about now, it's not going to be now, but we hope to have that best life with Jesus Christ. If we, 
expect life to be very rosy, very good now, um, no problem, no difficulties. We will try, we'll kill the joy that awaits us. In order not to do that, we just ask for grace. Yeah. Okay. To hold on. Yes. Come what may. Yeah. Yeah. In the place um, that was read for us in First Peter chapter one. Um, look, let's look at it again. <coughs> let's this. Um, let's read from verse three. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, which, according to his abundant mercy, hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not to weigh. Mm -hmm. Reserved in heaven for you, God. Amen. who are kept by the power of God mm -hmm. through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Peter is introducing after verses one to uh, one and two, introducing. Uh, doxology of um, praise here to people like you and I. He calls them or refers to them as um, strangers. Right. We are strangers and surgeons in this world. Yeah. This is not our home. No. We're just passing through it. And these um, strangers were scattered about through uh, Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and uh, Bithynia. He called them elect, according to the foreknowledge of God, the Father, through sanctification of the Spirit unto obedience and sprinkling of the blood of Jesus Christ. He said, grace unto you. Mm -hmm. And peace be multiplied. Amen. Amen. God give us abundant grace. Amen. Amen. Just as He gave to these people, these were children of God. They were suffering. They had a very hard time. They were persecuted by the unbelieving hostile world of uh, pagan religion. Life was very difficult for them. They were hated. They were abused. They were intimidated. They were troubled. They had very little resources. They were poor. They lived in a very difficult world. In fact, that is evident to anybody who reads this letter that Paul wrote. I'm oh, sorry, Peter wrote. <coughs> Verse 4 says, You have an, an inheritance. Amen. An inheritance. And this inheritance, as we <coughs> have said before, I has not seen nor ear heard. It hasn't entered into the heart of man what that inheritance is going to be. But an inheritance from God, right. yeah. that's the best you can think of. Oh, yes. <coughs> that this will, uh, we can call to mind the inheritance God promised the children of Israel. He told Abraham that your children, they will be taken captive to a 
in foreign land, they will suffer there mm -hmm. many years, hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. They suffered there many, many years. Ours may not be that long. Mm -hmm. But you still need um, us to be obedient. Yeah. It's us to be patient mm -hmm. and long suffering, mm -hmm. tolerant. Mm -hmm. Whatever may come our way mm -hmm. in this life. But thank God, God who has promised Amen. will bring it to pass. Amen. Amen. This is the same God we're worshiping. Because mm -hmm. when the time came, nothing could stop God from fulfilling his promise to his people. And nothing will stop God from fulfilling his promises to us Amen. as the people Amen. of God. Amen. But the only problem we have is for us to be identified with Jesus Christ All right. as the children of God. Mm -hmm. If we know for sure, we have that assurance in our hearts that the Spirit of God bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. Come what may, mm -hmm. nothing will stop him. Amen. 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 The Israelites suffered. But when the time came, mm -hmm. God delivered them oh, yeah. with a mighty hand. Oh, yes. And it is the same hand that rules the world. Yes. Doesn't matter what a political, economic, all situations that come to suggest that we are not enjoying life here. We are the suffering here. And then he wants us to sit and weep and move and grow. No, we have a God. Amen. Praise God. We have a God Amen. who is really concerned about us mm -hmm. and is ready to do us good. Yes. He's only going to be for a time. For those people that Peter wrote to, that was their worst time, worst life. So Peter gave them this hope, yeah. inspiration to carry on. Mm -hmm. You said you have an inheritance. Yeah. Praise God. So all the suffering is not going to be in vain. No. God has prepared something better. Yes. Jesus brought this um, a better covenant, better promises. Oh yes. Better sacrifices. Oh, yes. Everything better, oh, better, yes. better. Yes. Which means something bad or something has been before, mm -hmm. but this thing is coming, mm -hmm. which is going to be better. Yeah. You better look for that better. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. Um, the suffering to, if we read the book um, First Peter, different chapters, as we go on, there are some references to the fact that we don't have to suffer as evildoers. Yeah. Or as busybodies mm -hmm. in other people's business. Uh -huh. But if we suffer as Christians, right. There is hope for us. Amen. That is true. There is hope for us. That is true. Well, before we, or a, let's say a, a young prince, we are just like the, a young prince who doesn't know much about inheritance, just living a life, going about things are done for him, mm -hmm. just going about like that. But when he comes of age, he will then realize that, oh, he has been endowed with this inheritance. He has all these goody goodies that the father must have. Um, left behind. 
We are just like that. We do not understand. We don't know. That is why um, Paul in um, Ephesians chapter 1, verse um, 18, says something like this. First, I'm sorry, Ephesians chapter 1, verse 18. Let's um, read that briefly. When he was, he was praying for the Ephesians, and then he has this to say, said that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that ye may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. Mm -hmm. May God open our eyes, Amen. open our understanding, Amen. so we really know what this hope is, yes. this inheritance. If we really understand what this um, inheritance is all about, nothing will disturb us that much that we want to be living in a state of um, um, forsaken. We are not forsaken. No. God has not forsaken us. No. We are only passing here as his, um, a school, school of training. God may want to train you in some other ways than he uses to train me, mm -hmm. but all to the same goal, yeah. that in the end, we will come out victorious. Amen. Amen. Sometimes I sit down to think, what a privilege God has given us in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Who are you? Who am I? That we should have this God as our God. It has pleased him to give us this grace to be identified with him. So if he's only in this world we have hope in Christ. We have all men most miserable. Our hope is not because of the things of this world. If you are following Jesus Christ because of the things of this world, the Bible says you are the most miserable. It's not me. First um, Corinthians 15:19. So, you don't need to do like the world. You want to grab everything that comes. You want to enjoy life now. There is no enjoyment. Because the Bible says, as Iniquity abounds. Mm -hmm. The love of many will wax cold. Mm -hmm. We pray that our, our love will not wax cold. Amen. Because of what we see. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure things will be better. As we wake up every day, we see things happening, we hear the news. Here, going to the internet, you see so many things. Mm -hmm. You talk of there's so many prophecies of here. And things will not get better now. But we hope for a better future. Amen. Amen. Better days are coming. Amen. By and by. Amen. We are, when we were singing that song, Shall We Gather? at the river. 
I don't know what um, crowds your mind. Do you think of a better place? Do you think of heaven? Heaven is a better place. Yes. It is only when this life is over that we can hope of a better life. Mm -hmm. I mean, the best life ever. You may please Jesus Christ to keep you till he comes. Amen. May I decide to take you away, take me away. But we want to be sure mm -hmm. that come what may, right. we are going to meet him Amen. in the end. Amen. We are going to have our inheritance. Amen. The place he says he's going to prepare, it's, it's about the future. Yeah. It's not now. He didn't prepare anything ar around here, no. Some people say, oh, we say, uh, wherever your, the step of your feet will touch, I will give you. <laughs> it's all of this world, my dear. It's all, it will end here. Yeah. Whatever we accumulate, you have um, houses here and there, have, have, whatever you may have here. They all end here. Yes. The inheritance um, Peter was talking about says the inheritance is incorruptible yeah. Amen. and undefiled. Mm -hmm. And that fadeth not away. Mm. Nothing will destroy it. There's no corrosion. Nothing will spoil it. It's not like um, flowers that you see now. In a few moments, it fades away. No, it will not fade away. And it says, it's reserved in heaven for you. Yes, God. Is that not wonderful? Is that not inspiring? Is that encouraging for us to keep holding on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only that, he said, who are kept by the power of God yes. through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. Mm -hmm. Kept by the power of God. Right. If the Lord be for us, who can be against us? No. No. Nobody. So all this, the inheritance that God has kept for us, apart from being in, 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 un, incorruptible, mm -hmm. undefiled, mm -hmm. <laughs> Not fade, nothing to make it fade away. Reserved for us in heaven. Properly kept. Right. You look at the inheritance of the the children of Israel, the Canaan land. Mm -hmm. Everybody around there, they're trying to disinherit them. <laughs> The last time we went to Israel, could see ruins everywhere. As the Bible said, those things there. And we have went to Golan Heights. They have a station there, sophisticated equipment, looking at the enemies around up there. If they want to make a move, they are always in trouble, mm -hmm. even till now. Mm -hmm. People are contesting, this is not their land, and this is not. But thank God, ours is not going to be like that. Amen. Our inheritance, nobody will come to fight for it. No, it's reserved Amen. and kept by the power of God. Amen. For you, for me. So, my brothers and sisters, my friends, better days are coming. Yeah. By and by. Yeah. 
but we have nothing to lose by trusting God, by depending on Him, by being obedient to Him, mm -hmm. by surrendering our lives mm -hmm. in consecration to serve Him mm -hmm. all the days of our lives. Amen. It's going to be a wonderful time Real. with Jesus Christ yeah. if we can but hold on. We want to join um, Peter in this doxology of praise as we lift our hearts in praise to him. It says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. which according to his abundant mercy hath begotten us again unto a lively hope by the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Yes. Then you talk about the inheritance. We want to join him in this praise. Why would he talk to people who were suffering like that to praise God which means we can still continue to praise God yeah. though things around us mm -hmm. may not be that favorable mm -hmm. it's, not, it's just going to be for a time will you join me as we come to the altar of prayer to Praise God for what he has kept for us and ask for grace to carry on. The altar is open to prayer. Amen. Father, we thank you for the hope Amen. that better days Amen. are coming. Amen. Thank you for that assurance. Amen. Even as we gather around this altar or wherever we are kneeling down to look up to you, to 
call upon you and to pray that you please qualify us for that better day. And as we wait, Lord, give us the patience, give us the grace to fix our eyes on that better hope, that better covenant, that better promise, and that place where you have prepared for us. Make us ready. Amen. Even as we look up to you right now, Father, we pray that you look inside us and help us, Jesus, for whatever we not let us get to that place that the blood shed on Calvary will be poured out now abundantly to wash us, to cleanse us, and make us rapturable. Do this for us and much more as we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.